Fifth episode, boys. We're back. ERP is back. Put that dirty nature away. <laughs> we never actually went anywhere, though, in fairness. You say my Fiend. bag. At that point, theme. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another fucking podcast. Introducing your hosts, Joe, Gio, and Davey. There's every chance it could be a complete disaster. Now, it's time to stop yourself in, fuckface, and get ready for another fucking podcast. Wonder what hurt, will it? So, welcome to another fucking podcast. We're back after a hiatus. We are back in your ears. I'm Davey. I'm Joe. I'm George. And what did I mention? We're back. Yeah, we're but fucking back. See, to be honest, we were here last week and the week before that and the week before mm-hmm. that. Like you make this, make this sound as if we maybe pre-recorded the last episodes like months ago, or maybe a year ago. Did, and did maybe it? George just still get the tag on and it's still a bit sore for him. At this point, another fucking podcast would like to make a disclaimer. The first four episodes of this world-class podcast were recorded in August 2014. Hence the Commonwealth Games joke in episode four. At this point, I'm going to break a golden fucking rule in podcasting and mention that this is the... To- sorry, George. Sorry, I was interrupting your call. No, 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 no. Waiting? no, no, carry on, sorry. Right, so this is the 22nd of July, 2015. So this means that the FIB episode was almost a year the after... The FIB? The FIB <laughs> episode was almost a year after the fourth. We could have died in that time. Yeah. There's really much changed in that time, though. I actually knew that. We Where were we recording from, do you? Where am I? Where, uh, Where are we? AFP Studios. AFP Studios. Brackets. George's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that was if he dropped a plate there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get them up. So, it's sad that after a year, we, we, what have we got to talk about? What have we got to say to our fucking lovely audience of 24 fantastic followers? Hello, Canada! Fuck your mama! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's much you can add to that, in fairness. Yeah, hello to our 23 followers. <laughs> <laughs> and a shite Terence and Philip impression. I can only apologise for Fuck your mama! Just fuck your No, that was better. That was terrible as well. <laughs> was, that, was that the soundboard or was that you? No, that <laughs> I'll let the listeners decide that one. <laughs> so, in that year, obviously, we've designed the website, we've put the stuff out, and the feedback has been superb slash almost non-existent. <laughs> so, Fact we're now back, and what can we talk What's been happening in the world? I know what we could talk about. Well, go ahead, David, tell me. What, what would you like to talk about? What is a burning desire? What is within your mind, sir? Well, obviously, we're a topical podcast. We like to focus on the hot boat. Hot back. Oh, there you go. The blue part. The hot button issues of the day. Of course. So, isn't that right, George? Yes, that's, that's very <laughs> correct, I mean, I'm just, I, I don't actually know what you're going to say next, which is why I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know, did you hear that thing about, you know, Demi Moore and somebody died in a pool? Who's Demi Moore? <laughs> Demi Moore? Is this well, another I, chism? Yeah, I, I, I. Is, is, for, for a bit of backstory, I once got my arsehole ripped from me for calling Derek Chisora. Chisora. <laughs> I yeah. prefer him getting called Chisora now, to be fair. To be honest, I don't know him by any other name. I, I don't <laughs> think I can call him Chisora. <laughs> but anyway, Barry Moore esque, I think, is what you are. It's a strange one, isn't it? I don't know anything about this story, so could I get some background, please? I know, yeah, don't just say that someone died. Some guy pool. was face down in a pool. Michael Barrymore was basically on holiday. <laughs> I, didn't in investigate, I didn't investigate the case, George. I wasn't in there with my fingerprint kit. Oh, I'm assuming you read it somewhere, so I mean, that was all I was looking for, just a kind of brief synopsis of what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to make, we might need to edit that, we can't really mention brand here, can we? We that might brand also brand need to... joking for a subway. <laughs> we might also need to edit out the creaking. Uh, the, oh, I, I'm leaning on a chair here, because we actually don't want to sit down while we're doing this, we want to stand up and give you our full attention. Because we're consummate professionals. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and also, you know, feedback has been given, boys. That we're a sweaty bunch. How yeah. fucking dare they fucking bastards. I would absolutely stick a hot poker needle right through somebody's japs eye in it. And Can I just say that I hope I wasn't included in that? You I fucking what? I, 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 I have sworn once. Sworn? sworn? I have sworn <laughs> once. An allegiance? <laughs> You're not getting evidence in court, George. You don't need to sworn in. I've said shit. That is all I've contributed to a sweaty bunch. He just swore people. 
and that is his contribution to the podcast. Shit, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> We love you really, Joe. No, that's, that's quite alright. I just don't this want to be... This is fast turning into the shit when George podcast. <laughs> like episode three. When he was late. Uh-huh. Do you remember that a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only really going to be funny though he is. Given the fact that, you know... It, it really is. Well, we'll hopefully no, because we sent it to 24 followers, George. Yeah, and given that he'd done a year's time for nicking that 20 quid, I mean, that's... Uh, <laughs> well, well, that's the reason why... We're still going through the courts. Yeah. It was a wrongful arrest, uh, and nobody <laughs> actually swabbed her vagina, so I don't see how anybody can tell that he tampered with her. I think that kind of explains perfectly why we've not been able to do it in a year, because I've been doing time for the, the crime. <laughs> yeah, we did ask to bring the kit in for one of the visitations, but, <laughs> but then me and Joe got beefed and the whole thing was left alive. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard they call them screws. I have not heard anybody <laughs> being referred to as beefed since I was in high school. <laughs> and uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> you were right, you nearly fell back five years ago. So, yes, there that was that another stab at a topical podcast. We mentioned some poor bugger dying and then somebody well, getting beefed. Well, I only asked for a bit of a, a background story. Like, so well, what's ironically, it's, it, ironically, it's very much like the Barrymore situation where no doubt somebody did get beefed. So what's Allegedly. Happened, what's happening to Demi? <laughs> she wasn't Demi, there. Demi wasn't there. Or so, so her alibi says. But I'm right, not okay. sure, judge. I All think right. when people die in pools, somebody was there. Let's be honest. in a pool himself. He doesn't maybe, live there. Maybe he wanted to go for a dip. Let's this is an intruder. She's a fading star. She's got to get her career back in track somehow. Fuck yeah. her, the pool boy. This is some psychopath who decided to claim a lot. <clears throat> That's what this is. That's what we're dealing with here. Did you say psychopath, David? Psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> it said psycho laugh. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> George is determined to hijack this with a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh Somebody's got a new toy. My penis went from four flaccid to one and a half. I think I could make this work. I think we could make this something that, you know, that happens regularly. Okay, George, carry on. Throughout the, you know, the recordings of this podcast and not specifically to this particular (laughs) one. (laughs) I'm sure our followers would love to tweet us at another FKN pod and tell us whether the sound part... Oh, the soundboard is working. Blooper. (laughs) (laughs) We're professional and we'll carry on, David. Yeah, absolutely. So somebody was face down. In a pool. In a pool. Uh, it's maybe not the right point to... Which brings, us, which brings us oh, on rather appropriately to George's soiree that he had, you know? But, oh, that's right. Yeah. We are back at the venue of a rather gnarly house party. No, I'm not going to, I'm going to do that again. I don't, and this time, no use the word gnarly. Because <laughs> I'm no a, a fanny surfboarder. <laughs> But, George, this was the scene of a fantastic house party. In fact, George actually washed the worktops because there was a lot of sticky vag flame all over them. Or fucking beer ring stains. <laughs> beer ring stains. That would have only required one of the words. <laughs> beer rings, rings or beer stains. If I had just said stains, though, then that would have just... Fine. No, no, because <laughs> that would have given you the opportunity. Wait a minute, I like one of the nuts earlier. I'm a nut sir. Professional, aye. We're having a wee bit of farewell <laughs> in this box, you know. We're, we're consummate professionals. <laughs> um, you know, dry roasted will always take pr- take priority over entertaining you bastards. So, so th- this is the best, this this is, this is the best that we can come up with is somebody drowning in a pool. It's, pretty, it's a pretty big deal, George. It's a pretty big That's deal. somebody's, you know, daughter slash son, depending on who it is. Yep. That's, also that's enjoy how George has already brushed over his party. What, what happened, George? I'm not brushing over it because, you know... It was, it was a very successful night. Everybody had a good time. There was no spillage. Well, no, in fact, there was. Because yes. you spilled something. And what was our name? <laughs> the spillage? The well, victim? it was you who spilled it, so you tell us. <laughs> Let me tell you, his fit, his fit pump is covered in it. <laughs> I tell you, it took him a good 10 minutes to inflate that bird. Aye. <laughs> you find that I uh, didn't have any patches left in my puncture repair kit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, good, it's good to be back. Obviously, this, what we are putting out is important, guys. It's important. It's important to us, David, and we'll find out whether or not it's important to anybody else once they listen to it, I think. Ah, well. And your feedback's key, so if you think it's shite, yeah, tweet us. Tweet us at another FKM pod and say you're shite, and we'll block you. So <laughs> it's really as simple as that. I was actually going to say, well, they make a blind bad difference if they do give us negative feedback, because we're enjoying it. 
That is true. I can't help leaning on this chair. That's all right. It's, it's there. You know, it's at a good height. <laughs> it's at a good height. Still talking about the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at half mast. <laughs> So anyway, we did feel we had to put out that disclaimer. It has been a long time since we spoke to you. We do tend to bank these episodes rather than just get together every Monday. If you think that's happening, you know, have a word with yourself. Mm. Delusional. You know, have a word with yourself. Get a toaster. Run a wee bath. Jump in the bath. We've said toaster. <laughs> and just days off, Ava. Just days off, Ava. Because we don't get together every Monday. We get together once every... Well, what, what's it going to be? What's the schedule here going to be? Are we getting together once a month to bank these? It's hard though because... Oh, that is hard. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, it's difficult. Thanks for it's difficult because you know, we all have other things we going on in lives. our lives, David. Yeah, so, we do have lives. Um, Sexual predators got you? I don't. I hibernate until we daddies. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just sit in your room and listen to them. sleep for three weeks. Over and over. <laughs> and just release these. I'll wake up once they have a tug and then just release, <laughs> and just release these. <laughs> After I've released them all. Oh, come on! I thought that was very apt for the people that didn't want to hear that you were having a tug. Do you have a noise for everything? I've because got, these are actually superbly comically timed. There, there's 100 of them. 100? Yeah, so give me a scenario, right, and I'll see if I can find one for it. Right, I'm at the... I'm, at a, I'm, I'm waiting to cross a road. And all of a sudden, I just whip my dick out. Right. <laughs> I just whip my dick out for no apparent reason, with want and abandon. Um. Then. What have you got? What have you got for my dick? So, <laughs> what have I got for your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty apt. That is. Uh, it is quite good, and unfortunately, I, I can't find it quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> he is scrolling like a motherfucker here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to happen. Well, to be fair, I didn't think you were going to give me something as complex as you having your banger out in the middle of a road. That's a very simple solution, actually. I'm crossing the road, I get my dick out. It's not an You have got to be kidding. Nah. That's, that's, that's harsh. Or, you know, given the fact that you've got your banger out in the street, it might offend some people. That actually sounds like a child screaming. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> and also, looking at the sound spike that that's just caused, I get the feeling that's going to be rather <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I think realistically, if you were to do that in the street, somebody should just tell you... No! <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Inch for the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Right, well, that'll pretty much put the soundboard to bed then for the next episode. And it seems like no finer fucking point to wrap this up, lads. It's good that we got together, talked about that topical thing that we said we were going to talk about yeah. for a grand total of 45 seconds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be the KP's coming back, David, there. Yeah, that'll, just, be, that'll be a nut in the throat. Uh, right. Insert your own joke here, lads. <laughs> well, so, oh, you, you find a way. Interrupt just, me. That's it. Uh, you do the fucking outro then. I tell you. Oh, you know the site. You just fucking don't appreciate me, that's the best thing. Right, anyway, <laughs> it's definitely sounded like somebody there, eh? <laughs> Your respect, eh? Right, right, carry on. <laughs> so, if you want to hear more of this, why? But then go on to the website, which is www.anotherfknpodcast.com. The Twitter is at anotherfknpod. That is at anotherfknpod. If you've got a stutter and you just want me to say it twice. We've also got a Facebook page. I'm not giving you the address to that. You need to find it. You probably search for another FKM podcast and find it. It's not fair that I need to do other work. We've also got a YouTube channel and a Vine that we're not even going to use, probably. <laughs> is it? Are we actually going to use the Vine? Vine is very 2013. No, but Vine, I think, will, will happen. Are you saying Vine in an accent? No, I'm saying <laughs> Vine in it. <laughs> Rupert Vine <laughs> The Vine will happen Eventually It will happen It's happen later on the night At that point We can then show Peel back the layers For our audience Exactly yeah They can see what it looks like To be us When we're recording Because right. you know what That's probably What they're all thinking about What does it look like It looks like the recession That's what I would say <laughs> Yeah Vine is 2013 You're right Joe Incredible I don't want to be one of the warmers That becomes a Vine star Right you do realise You're going to need to Wrap this up again Oh again Sorry End of Bye bye